Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Everything is Fine, episode 4, 5, and 6. Let's get started. Perfect. Winston. Uh. She has a tattoo. Is that a carrot? An onion and broccoli? Winston. Come here, lazy boy. Hey, hon. Uh. You almost ready? Almost. Awesome. Oh, hon, did you see the dress I laid out? I thought it'd be- it'll match nicely with my new tie. I saw it's over there. Well, hon, it's... It's all cut up. I thought it would be a bit cold- old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? Whoa. Cat got your tongue, Sammy? Hun, I mean, for Bob and Linda's, it's just dinner. Uh, zip me up, Sammy? Mm. It's been a while, hasn't it, Sammy? Maggie. Maggie, I... Yep, been a long, long while. Honey? It... it doesn't match my tie. Then get a new tie. Almost ready, dear? Sure am. Just watching this beautiful sunset smells getting in though oh it is pretty dinner's in the oven could you keep an eye on it while i freshen up sure thing sweet pea oh and bobby yeah hon are we sticking to the plan uh oh sure nothing changed my on my end perfect well he had three boxes of foil. Ugh. What are they planning? Sam, Maggie, you made it. Did you find the place okay? Hey, Bob, you goofball. Yeah, traffic was a real nightmare. Wait, really? Um, no, Bob, we're just next door. I thought we were doing a bit. Gotcha. Oh, you. <laughs> come come in, you two. Maggie, I say you look stunning. Hey, Sam, is it too late to trade? Hey, now, she's mine, pal. Oh, okay, now, now mister, you win. However, this is a bit embarrassing, but it can get a bit chilly in our house sometimes. Maggie, I'm sure Linda has something you can borrow if you want to cover up. No, thanks, Bob. I'm fine. Are you sure, Maggie? It's no trouble. Sam, maybe you can help me convince this little lady? Oh, go on, Sam. Try me. I think we're fine, Bob. Thanks. Um, speaking of Linda, where's the lady of the house? My ears are burning. Hey there, you two. Linda, how are you? Better than I deserve. How are you guys? Oh, you know us. Giddy, always getting into trouble. <laughs> As always. And how's that little furball Winston? Oh, um, Winston, he... he got eaten. Whoa. Um, what she means is... Oh, I know what she means. Uh, he's just so cute you had to gobble him up. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. By the way, you look lovely tonight, Linda. 
Well, thank you, Sam. You clean up well yourself. And Megan, my, that dress is gorgeous. I wish that I didn't care what I showed off. Linda, did I ever tell you? Did she, did she tell you how thirsty she is? <laughs> how about a drink? Oh, oh, where are my manners? What can I get you to? Vodka. Two glasses of your finest water, please. Why is he talking for her? Coming right up. I'll help you out, Lindy, Lindy Lou. Maggie, listen to me. I know everything with Winston was difficult. It was for me too, but I need you to do this. Please, just keep going. I'm begging you. For her. For who? Okay, for her. Thank you. <laughs> no, you don't say. Yep, and it was still sitting there on my desk the next day. Oh, golly. That reminds me of the time Linda and I were at the hardware store. Oh, Bob, not Lisa again. Oh, come on. This is a great story. So, Linda and I were at the hardware store in the 13th B. The, the one next to the main road four? Yeah, that's the one. No, Bob, it was the one in 15D, the one with a big parking lot. Yeah, the one next to the road, road, road four. The one near the fire station? Oh yeah, between the station and the art factory. No, that's the one in the 13th B. It was the one in 15D. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, we were in the store in 13B. Ding dong. Oh, that must be Charlie. I'll get the door. Well, hi there, Mr. Fashionably Late. How are you, Charlie? Hi, Linda. Fine, thanks. Charlie! Hey. You didn't have to dress up, pal. Huh? I didn't. Ha, huh, I know. Just kidding, buddy. Come in and have a seat. Can I get you a drink, Charlie? Just water, please. Sure. Anyone else? Yes, please, Linda. Just another water for me, too. Gotta drive home after all. Drive home? But... Uh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Driving home. But your house is right next door. Sam, you could be a comedian. <laughs> or I guess I could call a cab. A cab! <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey. Hey. Why are they awkwardly laughing so much? Fascinating. And then once you move the boxes to four, uh, point four, where do they go then? Someone picks them up and moves them to point five. Golly. And then? Then point six, Bob. And then point seven. And then, well, actually, I've never seen it, but I expect point eight. Oh, that's right. My department does the paperwork for point seven through ten. But after that, who knows? Gosh, I wish I had a swell job like that. What do you do, Bob? Oh, well, you see, Maggie, I work at the box uh, incinerator. Huh? Dinner's already, everyone. Oh, my, Lindy Lou, you outdone yourself. Looks delicious, Linda. It looks amazing. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Maggie. Oh, uh, thanks so much, Linda. Looks great. You're very welcome too, Charlie. It's really nothing special, just a good wife's day's work. I'll say, hey, I got an idea. Why doesn't one of our guests give a spontaneous declaration before we eat? How about Maggie? Oh, I'm fine actually, Bob. As the head of our household, Sam should... Oh no, hon. I may be the head, but you're the beating heart. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh... 
My name is Maggie of neighborhood 147D. Before this delicious meal, I feel spontaneously compelled to offer my thanks. I am thankful for my husband's del diligent, diligent work that provides for us and the fulfillment I find in my, in my own household duties. I'm thankful for the government that keeps us healthy, protects us, and feeds us. I'm thankful for the opportunities given to me for advancement. But most of all, I'm thankful to be gathered here with my family and loved ones. I am the happiest I've ever been. We're the happiest we've ever been. Cling. Oh, that's just wonderful, Maggie. Thank you very much. Dig in, everyone. You know, Maggie, what you said there about advancement, I couldn't agree more. We should be thankful for all our opportunities. And you know, that gets me thinking. Well, you know, right, about Lakeview? Lakeview? Oh, yes, of course. That's um, up, isn't it? Exactly, Sam. It's a little town up north, and apparently it's lovely. Oh, yeah. I hear it's so wonderful. Big old lakes to sail on, wooden cabins, surrounded by nature. Sounds swell, doesn't it, Maggie? Yep, I, just swell. Yes, indeedy. In fact, it sounds so nice, we've been thinking about moving there. Oh, really? Really? Except, well, you know, how you get there. Um, I mean, I know a little. They want good folk, am I right? Exactly, good folk. Folk that are honest, friendly, and loyal. And we all know how to show that we're good and loyal, right? Yeah, we know. Great, so we're all on the same page. For example, you know Barbara from down the street? Well, the other day, I caught her looking through our trash. That's right. Now, obviously, we have nothing to hide, but we can't be sure what Barbara might be thinking. So, if, say, she were to call the police on us and it's our word against hers, you want us to back you up. Exactly, Charlie. Exactly. And of course, Linda and I will do the same for you. And with us looking out for each other, it's more likely we'll all get to go to Lakeview together. Wouldn't that be lovely? So how about it, y'all? Will you, will you three... Join us. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Honestly, as I keep on reading this storyline and I'm trying to picture like how each of these characters would sound like, I feel like it's very fitting that this couple in the yellows are like country. It's just like, who says golly other than like a Southern person, you know? Like, so I was like, I think I'm gonna keep that country accent like a slight one with them and I know some people might cringe that the fact that I do that but um my family <laughs> my dad's side of the family are actually like you know they're very southern and they talk like that and yes um my dad is half Vietnamese and half um white and so that side of his family do actually talk like that so that's why i kind of learned it <laughs> but anyways if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and i'll catch you guys next time bye